this part this is part two for anybody that is just tuning in this is part two to uh the actual video that i just did before let me clarify that that video might be important but i'm giving out information right now so uh pay attention it's information anyway so this guy uh in his album he's speaking real raspy about some shit and so, when he's speaking real raspy, I don't hear the shit, cause it, you know, it's it's a little ahead, of, it's a little ahead of the time for me. But I'm like, oh, this shit fired out of be tight. Well, what he was talking about actually happened, and what he said was some people from Def Jam Records are going to. Okay, he didn't say Def Jam, so let me, like I said, I'm not gonna mention nobody's name. But it was a pretty po it wasn't a very popular um he's still out there, he's still an artist doing stuff. I still play to him and if you see me on the streets or something like that, uh you'll probably see me listening to the guy. New album, but uh this one was uh an album that just went completely in the loop. You played it all the way through because that's how it went. But uh he he pretty much said somebody's gonna come to you from Def Jam Records. Don't sign with them. And I was like, well, whatever. And sure enough, somebody from Def from so from uh, Def Jam comes to me in a uh, certain time period, uh, 06 actually, and says, uh, "Hey, why don't you rap for us?" You know. I, I was wearing something sophisticated, you know what I'm saying? I ain't have on no suit or no shit like that, you know, because uh, I, I am the streets. There ain't no shit about it. I am. But I had the shit on that motherfuckers were blazing at the time. They knew it was hot. They knew it was, you know, whatever. When these people saw me, they was like, hold on. I'm sitting here blazing the, to, to the record that I'm talking about right now. And a lady comes up, sees me walking past the record store. And believe me, I'm always walking past record stores and shit, see what the fuck's popping, what's what's on the covers and shit. And she walks up to me, pulls the earphone off my ear, she says, "Hey, come on, huh? Come on in here real quick, you know, come get our demo or whatnot." She was talking real smooth. I swear. Ooh, if I could do it, I would do it. But I ain't gonna put the ID out there because you know what I'm saying. It's that's not right. I don't do anything that ain't right, and uh, that's why I gotta make this video because that ain't right, y'all. What the fuck, y'all? I gotta, I gotta speak on. It. Here I am doing music as music should be. You know, I love music because music is music. But for people to be throwing my name in music and shit, where people don't actually hear it unless, you know, they done done the shit, that's kind of, that's on some fucked up shit on my level, I'm not going around, I wasn't going around saying nobody's name or no shit about nothing, wasn't saying shit about nothing, I was doing exactly, you know, doing me shit, and then, or, just like, Usher, put my name in some shit, fucking, my A, put my name in some shit, you know, Come on now, for real. That's the only shit I done found. But let me not play no fucking games real quick and actually say the shit that I mean. Alright? So, this cat, uh... This is only gonna be up for a little while. That's why I got the audio in the background. Cause as soon as YouTube hears the fact that I got this shit in the back, they're gonna take it off. But I had to say it. I had to say it. But, uh... Uh, there was a song called In This Club or some shit like this. Actually, I forgot one track, but I ain't gonna mention it because I said I wasn't gonna say no names unless y'all done fucked with me bad. So, you know, because it was wrong, I had to say, I had to mention just one name. I'm not snitching. But, uh, there was also a bubblegum friend. Anyway, uh, so, if, put my own business out there like that. But, uh, the, in this club, where he's talking about having sex in the club and shit, uh, if you play it 
backwards, it's fine. You don't have to slow it down, you have to speed it up, none at all. And he's talk he says the name, he says somebody's name over slowly. He says it over and over again. And then he gets talking about some crazy. I don't know. But uh like I said, I'm not gonna put everybody business, nobody business out there. But he said this shit. And the way that it was advertised on YouTube, it's YouTube's fault. Now I ain't saying I only put his name out there because I didn't recognize the shit. But YouTube advertised it to me, so I watched. But I wasn't the one that, that flagged it out. My girl flagged it out. She said, "Hey, come here, come here real, real quick. Just you know, check this, check this link out. Listen to it." And she was like, "Is that my name? Listen to it." I was like, "Yeah, I think that's your name." I'm pretty sure that's your name right there. I don't know that nigga like that. I don't really, I really, I don't know that nigga like that. So, you know. When I said it, it was like, yeah, there's a million of them chicks out there. But there was another video. And I should have left it alone right there. Because I could have had it convinced that there was somebody else on the shit. You know what I'm saying? It was some other, other girl. It was just a coincidence. It was Bubblegum commercial. Now the Bubblegum commercial had a popular song on it. I ain't like the song, but yeah, uh, shit. And it was on this same link. Same person did the shit. You know, go if you want. If you want to get mad at somebody, go assassinate that motherfucker's character. Don't be in my shit. And uh, I listened to it and I played it. And first it's saying, "Call home." Now I'm playing this backwards, so it's not the song you recognize, no. you know, not doing that shit. It says, call home, call home. I don't remember exactly how it is, because I wasn't going to watch it again. It freaked me out. And then my name appeared in this shit, alright? Hold on again, I gotta change the fucking track. Seven minutes. Oh, like I said, I'm not expecting y'all to watch the shit, but I'm, I'm going to make a statement because uh, I got the ability to do that shit. But yeah, found my name in that shit too. Go to the commercial. And the shit popped off that I've been saying, hey, that's my fucking name. Come on now. If it's in that, I'm going to fish if. If my name's in that shit, somebody's gonna come to me talking about what the fuck you doing. If if my if it's my name they saying, they ain't gonna come to y'all motherfuckers and be like, hey, you know, they gonna come to me and be like, hey, why the fuck your shit in here? And these motherfuckers come to me and talking about why the fuck your name in this shit. They don't they don't say that shit. I pointed out just because it's in the same business. It ain't in in the music business. It's in some other shit. And uh. I said, I don't know. I really don't know why. You might be able to help me with that shit. I don't know. But, uh, I seen it too, so you might be able to help me with that shit. They came to me. This why I'm in Atlanta. Motherfuckers came to me on the shit. And, uh, what the fuck I'm gonna say? Y'all didn't tell me no. I mean, if y'all was gonna say my name or some shit, y'all could have gave me something to say when these motherfuckers came to me and asking me questions. Man, I don't know. And I ain't know what to tell them, motherfuckers. So you know what? I wasn't gonna let the shit get any further than what the fuck it already had gotten. So once the more questions came, that was it. Now I spoke on the shit. All right? It's good enough, ain't it? Next video. Click, 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 click. I spoke on the shit. It's all here now.